actionfigureresource.com. Yesterday's Toys, Today's Treasures. Ghostbusters, a collecting guide from Action Figure Resource. Part 2. NECA and Mattel. In 2004, seven years after extreme Ghostbusters failed to make for a lasting resurgence of the brand, NECA, the National Entertainment Collectibles Association, launched a small line of figures based on the first movie. These contained a far more appropriately sized Mr. Stay Puffed and a Slimer, clearly made in reverence to the Kenner original, even including a slice of nostalgic watermelon. There was also the first Gozer and two symmetrical terror dogs, presumably too scary to have been made for the original kid-focused lines. There were also two head knockers, entering the scene when this kind of desk toy was gaining traction that has only gathered over the years. Notably, none of the original Ghostbusters could be included due to facial licensing reasons, so this line was ultimately doomed to be limited and short-lived. Then in 2009, Mattel managed to get that coveted facial license and began to release figures once every few months for the next three years. These were almost entirely the main four guys with a fairly even spread throughout the line. The six inch waves were in the same scale as Mattel's DC Universe line with multiple points of articulation and amazing detail, especially on the movie accurate accessories. The facial sculpts remained consistent and consistently high quality in terms of likenesses throughout the variants of each character. Winston even lost his moustache in his Ghostbusters 2 version. The first figure released was Egon in Slimed Variant at the San Diego Comic Con of 2009. He came with Slimer. Slimed Peter followed in early 2010 via Matty Collector, also with a packaged in Slimer. Each Ghostbuster was released in their standard uniform. Ray comes with a no ghosts symbol, Winston with a trap, Egon with a PKE meter and a pile of library books that no human would ever stack, and Peter with an active proton stream. Ray, then Egon, then Peter were released between August 2010 and July 2012 with lab coat variants, and due to these being less action oriented, had pack in ghost buddies replicating some of the most beloved of movie apparitions, including the subway ghost, the library ghost, and the taxi driving ghost. Winston and then Ray got versions with the slime blowers from Ghostbusters 2, packaged with a tri trap and the cinema ghost, respectively. Peter and Ray received courtroom variants, each packaged with one of the Scolari brothers, gave him the chair, and Ray alone was given the honour of the sole figure covered in marshmallow mess. A Toys R Us 4-pack incorporated the team with darker grey uniforms and Santa Claus hats as seen in the montage of Ghostbusters 2. Slimer was of course also packaged. Mr. Stay Puffed received another treatment, this time made of a foamy substance. Walter Peck, the hissable government pencil pusher, finally got the figure that several dozen fans must have been demanding. He came packaged with part of the Ecto Containment Unit that he was so keen to shut down. Dana Barrett, as Zool, also got her action figure debut, packaged with a stone plinth to lie on and some alternate standing legs. Lewis Tully appeared in the form of Vin's Clortho, with interchangeable heads. For fans of Ghostbusters 2, Vigo the Carpathian, the scourge of Moldavia, stepped out of his painting and finally assumed toy form. Finally, for those who picked up the fairly faithful and epic Ghostbusters video game, the rookie whom you play in that, a blank slate avatar to hang out with the main busters, got his own figure. From 2009 to 2011, Mattel also ran a line of 12-inch supersized figures with cloth outfits, and in 2010, Toys R Us saw Mego-style retro action figures based on the real Ghostbusters designs. In 2014, Mattel made sure that the standard uniform Ghostbusters would be available for the time being on their website in two packs, and these same figures were reissued in spring 2016 on store shelves alongside the new female Ghostbusters from the reboot movie. Diamond Select picked up the license and began releasing a line of 7-inch articulated figures in 2016. Three Waves saw all four Ghostbusters, as well as Janine, 
Dana and Lewis, with Slimer and a slimy Ray. Each of these figures again has superb articulation and detail. Diamond Select also released at least eight waves of Minimates, based on the first two movies, the real Ghostbusters and the video game. In terms of the collector's market, most of the Matty Collector figures, as they are harder to obtain and only available direct, retain their value even loose, while some of the highest valued figures are those early NECA ones, especially as there hasn't been a Goza or a Terror Dog made in this scale for more than a decade, at least at the time of writing. With Mattel and Diamond Select continuing to release Ghostbusters toys and a pretty much unkillable franchise on the table, we'll be seeing excellent Ghostbusters figures releasing long after the time when we're all ghosts ourselves. ActionFigureResource.com Yesterday's Toys, Today's Treasures.